people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is the post-star review for Joe Cordina versus Kenichi Ogawa as they fought for the IBF Super Featherweight title. And let the, this won't be a long drawn out review because quite frankly, ain't much to review. A star was born in Cardiff tonight. Joe Cordina doesn't just win the IBF title, but he wins it in sensational fashion, scoring a knockout of the year candidate where he straight flatlined Kenichi Ogawa. Now, let's talk about it. Uh, Ogawa coming into the fight had the reputation of, as, as being the guy that was more of, a, of the bigger puncher, the more physical guy. The question really wasn't about if Cordina could knock out Ogawa, but more so like, uh, could Cordina outbox Ogawa and could Ogawa find the right shots and use his physical strength to overpower Joe Cordina? But as we've seen many times in the past, sometimes just because, just because a guy doesn't have the reputation for being a big puncher, if he's a precise puncher, if he's a quick puncher, if he's got good balance, if he can get if he can get that shot from point A to point from point A to point B quicker than the other guy, you know he can oftentimes score the, the knockout, and, and and that's what happened. You know, um, I thought. In the first round, uh, first round was pretty competitive. Ogawa had landed a, uh, one or two like counters. Um, Cordina was really showing uh, that that class early in the first round as well with, with the jab and and being able to pick uh, Ogawa off at times. But uh, the second round, I mean, what can we say? Uh, Ogawa got caught. Um, Cordina did a good job using the hard sell with the feint and then threw a straight right hand and landed right on the chin. And he ironed out Ogawa. And mind you, um, Cordina was a slight favorite, but it was damn near even money. Like, it wasn't like Ogawa was a massive underdog or Cordina was a big favorite. It was damn near an even money fight. So it was kind of up in the air going in as to who won this fight. And, um, you know, the perception going in was like, okay, well, these guys are both fighting for a world title, but, but, but they're both really just kind of keeping the belts warm for Shakur Stevenson. But then after you see a performance like that, a performance like that from Joe Cordina, and the way he's matured over his last, you know, I'm going to say three fights or so, you really start to, I, for me personally, I, I really am, um, I'm blown away by the uh, the development this guy has had over the years. Because if you guys go back deep, deep, deep into my archives, um, I have a prospect review, I have a prospect review series that I've been doing on and off for the last couple of years, so for the last three to four years. I've covered, I've covered about 33 prospects. Uh, Cordina, I believe, is the fifth or sixth to become world champion. So, um, you know, with Cordina, I, I I did my prospect review video about him back in 2018 when he had fought Sean Dodd. And um, this is back when he was campaigning at 135. And, you know, there were some things that there was obviously, obviously some, some things to like. You know, he had shown uh, a very good balance and being very well schooled and very fundamentally sound. But he just... He seemed to still have some amateur habits, and um, he was still lacking some things. But he's gotten with uh, Tony Sims, and Tony Sims has done what Tony Sims does. And, and nobody talks about it, but to me, for my money, the best trainer in the UK is Tony Sims. All of his fighters come prepared, all of his fighters can fight, and he's got a great stable when it comes to uh, Joe Cordina, Felix Cash, Conor Ben, John Ryder. They all come to fight, and they all come to win, they're all prepared. But uh, he's been proved so much from that Sean Dodd fight uh, many years ago. And um, now, I'm not, like, after a performance like that and seeing how he's developed, you know, I think he's one of Eddie Hearn's better fighters. Him, along with Boatze, he's one of the better fighters at Eddie Hearn's stable. But after a performance like that, the question isn't about now, can Cordina become world champion? But now the question becomes, can Cordina be the man in this division, you know? Um, you know, I think with him being five foot nine, very well schooled, deep amateur pedigree, uh, solid punching power, great speed, great balance. He might actually be one of the only guys at 130 uh, that you that you look at uh, right now with the current landscape that you, you could look at and say, hey, this guy could not only get a foul with Shakur Stevenson, but maybe he could actually beat a Shakur Stevenson. I know that sounds crazy, but um, he's developing greatly. He has that thump in his hand. Um, and, 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 he's, and he's got great boxing ability. And you know what? I, 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 after a performance like that, against a tough, physical, rugged guy like Ogawa, who a lot of people, 
were saying wasn't going to, uh, Cordina wasn't going to beat Ogawa. A lot of people were telling me this week that Ogawa is going to fucking flatline Joe Cordina. Joe, Joe Cordina don't punch hard enough. Joe Cordina ain't this. Joe Cordina ain't that. But I knew all along that the Welsh Wizard, with his development and, 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 and with what he's been learning with Tony Sims, was going to beat him. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was watching this fight by myself right here. I'm very shocked that he knocked out Ogawa the way he did. I, I'm not going to sit here and act like I, I expected that. I didn't think he was going to knock him out in no two rounds. But listen, man, when the light's the brightest and when fights mean the most and it's time to shine the most, that's when the great fighters rise to the occasion. And look, if you look at Joe Cordina's record, I mean, the guy, the names he's fought, he really didn't fight. No crazy names, no great names, no no names that really jump out at you. Ogawa is really that first name that kind of jumps out at you. And the first real name he fought he had the best performance of his career. So I think that said a lot about Joe Cordina, um, the kind of fighter he is mentality-wise, because it's easy to look good against cannon fodder, no name opposition, but it's another thing to look good when you're fighting a guy who just won the world title, big, strong, physical guy from Japan. We know, we, we know, we know the Japanese fighters are very disciplined. We know the Japanese fighters always come to win. win, win. We know the Japanese fighters, uh, you know, just, they're going to be a challenge uh, on just about any occasion at that world-class level. And if you're someone that can knock out a Japanese fighter in two rounds, then it really says something about you at that world-class level. So, um, Joe Cordina, man, the 13th, the 13th Welsh world champion in box history. He now joins the likes of Joe Calzaghe, Enzo Macanelli, and, and guys like that um, as, as, as the many uh, warriors that are flying, that have flown the flag for the Wales at the highest levels in boxing. So, a hell of an accomplishment, a hell of an achievement. I believe he's now the first... World champion um, from Cardiff, Wales, in 25 years. I think you'd have to go all the way back to, uh, man, I don't even know. But you, you had to go back some ways. Because I, I believe they said he's the first uh, world champion from Wales. That's from Cardiff in uh, 25 years. And Cardiff's a, a huge city in Wales. I think it might even be the biggest city in Wales, but don't quote me on that. But, uh, yeah, Ogawa, I mean, look, Ogawa's a... Experienced guy, fought Tevin Farmer, fought Fuzili, now he's fought Cordina. Um, I don't know where he goes from here. That's a, that's a, that's a tough that's a, that's a tough way to lose a title. That, that, that's the kind of knockout loss to where like when you get knocked out, you don't even you don't even uh recover the same soul. Speedy recovery to him, and hopefully we can see him back in the ring soon. But uh, Joe Cordina, take a bow. Well, Wales have a new world champion, and uh, we might have just gotten uh, un, 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 unbeknownst to all of us, we might have just gotten the matchup. We really need at 130 between uh, Shakur Stevenson and Joe Cordina in the next with a performance like that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Joe Cordina becomes the 13th Welsh World Champion in box history as he knocks out and flatlines Konichi Ogawa in the second round to become IBF Super Featherweight Champion. Let me, know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to 50K. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.